Wild hog from Texas right here, boys. Pork medallion. Make sure we put this stuff on there. KOZ rub. It's a special deal. Makes it taste good. You can get that at KOZ Kids Outdoor Zone dot com. quick update about what I do on my red light therapy here. Um, this is the, this red light therapy comes from Health Life Light Therapy System. And I'm just gonna spend a few minutes and talk with you about uh, about this. Because I, I talked about it briefly before, but I feel like it really has made a difference in my healing process. And whenever I have something that I feel is beneficial, I wanna share it with you guys. Um, and I'll tell you a little bit more about, about the benefits that why this light is different. Uh, but first of all, I, I do this, I try to do it twice a day at least. Um, and I did it three times when I was more housebound. Now I'm more out and about. But every morning, uh, I do it for 20 minutes. Basically what you do, you just plug it in, turn it on. And there's lots of different settings on this controller. It, you can, there are settings for hormones, for tissue, for organs. So I generally... Uh, there's different settings that I use just for the tissue on my feet. But I, but basically you plug it in, put the setting that you want, and you sit back, and in 20 minutes it shuts off. So you don't have to do anything, it just does it by itself. Now there's lots of different options. You just call the company and they will um, sell you exactly what you need. I, I personally got the two pads. This one I have to wrap so I can wrap around my foot. And this one here, I got this one so I can put it on my calf, which increases blood flow. And I also have... Uh, I, I kind of have on the top of my foot, it gets sore. So I do, I sometimes I put it on the top of my foot like that. But anyways, this I, I feel like has done a lot of uh, benefit for me on my health journey on my feet. So I do 20 minutes on this foot. I switch out and do 20 minutes on that foot. Generally, as soon as I get up, first thing in the morning and last thing before I go to bed. Uh, so I'll tell you a little bit more about the benefits, why this is so different uh, than a lot of other uh, red light therapies that are out there. These particular health light pads are actually, if I understand it correctly, are medical grade by the FDA approved. So they're they're often used in doctor's offices. They're not, and they're also made in the USA. They are um, not made in China. Now, when all you have to do is just take a look on Amazon and there is a zillion or hundreds of red light therapy items available. I was overwhelmed when I started searching for red light therapy because I wanted to do something I could do at home. And then I was able to, uh, through a doctor, uh, I was able to get these, but you don't actually have to go through a doctor now. You can actually call the company directly and they can get these to you directly. It used to previously only, was only available to doctors, but now anybody can buy them. These LEDs, some of them you can see and some of them you actually can't see with your eye. You actually can put a phone to it and the phone, you can see through the phone that they're working. So they're uh, red light and infrared light. Now, I think these, these have a special 20 degree angle that helps uh, the light get directly into your tissue and they have a higher amount of joules. But the other neat thing is they only operate at like your body temperature and they don't, it doesn't get hot. So like a lot of the Chinese ones get actually really, really warm. One thing I have noticed uh, just by using them on my feet, I had like uh, fungi on this foot here on my toenail. I know it sounds gross, but um, I had like, I didn't know what it was. So I Googled it and I had, you know, like 
more white of my toenail is receding down my toenail. And since I've used this, and I try to actually try different things, so I thought, you know, I gotta stop this stuff. But since I've been using the red light, I just noticed uh, it like the last few days, and I, I actually showed for someone, she said, yeah, definitely a difference. So my the pink of my toenail is actually going up. So I guess it's killing the fungus. That's all I can think about. And I used to get a lot of corns on the side of my toes. I'm not getting those anymore. Um, so I think that also has got to do with uh, this, this red light therapy. And I, it looks like my toenails are healthier. So I know that's just a side benefit and you might not care about that, but um, I just, I can, I notice that it's helping my feet. So here's the thing, just call Health Light. I'll have a link in the description box below. I think you guys would enjoy it. It's more expensive than you're gonna find on Amazon. There's no doubt about it. Uh, I think a number of you went out last time I mentioned it and you bought some and I'd love to hear your testimonies if you received some benefit. Just comment below and I'd love to see if you guys had uh, results with with those. Uh, so call up the company, they'll set you up and you can't actually go on their website and order it, you just call them because they wanna make sure you get the right, uh, the right product because they have a bunch of different products. They have bigger pads for your back. You can actually put these all over your body. Priscilla wears them in different places of her body. You can wear them across your stomach. It helps your organs, uh, you know, your legs, your, uh, your skin. That's why she wears them on her face. Um, different things, so it just helps you overall. So guys, let's get back to the regular video. Thanks for indulging me on this red light therapy. If you have, uh, you know, if you have pain, if you're trying to overcome some kind of a, an issue, I think this may be one really effective way to help you guys uh, get through that. All right, thanks for that, and now for the rest of the video. Oh, who do we have there? <clears throat> Chloe and Wyatt. We are on a snow machine trek way up in the mountains here. Fantastic today, just fantastic. Well guys, today uh, we came up with our good friend, Matt. We got the whole family up here and uh, everybody's up here except Matt's wife, which is laden with uh, at home laying in bed with knee surgery. So Mary, I hope you are having a good time and not feeling sorry for yourself. <laughs> but it's such a glorious day. We're just grateful to Matt and Clayton and their family. Mary allowed us the use of their snow machines. And it's just, just a perfect day to be out and enjoying the sun. First time that Priscilla's been up here. And this is close to the area where the boys made their snow cave a few weeks ago. And of course, this is the first time Wyatt, Chloe, and Avalon have been up here. So just, just a bluebird day, perfect day to be out. There's a moose right over here. Absolutely glorious. Just great. There's a big glacier right behind here. That's there all year long. It's called the Knick Glacier. And uh, it goes down and eventually goes into the Knick River, which then flows into the Gulf of Alaska down here. <laughs> Look at that little ptarmigan right there, sticking its head out of the snow Just all the way at the top. Whoa, nice, Chloe. What? Huh, just shot a ptarmigan and there's a moose. Crazy. There it goes. Lots of abundant life up here. Very nice. Okay, let's see if we can go get the other term again. <laughs> Priscilla got it. Good job, babe. <laughs> <Woo -hoo. Goodness. laughs> nice going, girl. Whoa. <laughs> Priscilla got that thing. Yep, All right, got go, it. <laughs> go pick it up, girl. Subtle's first ptarmigan in Alaska. Mine too, actually. Wow, nice going, girl. Got it! Whoa! <laughs> oh, this is awesome! Isn't this fun? Oh, this is amazing. Here comes Wyatt. Look at that, Wyatt. <laughs> and there, right there, is uh, Mount Foraker on the left and Denali on the right. And it is brisk and breezy up here. But we're having a party.
Uh, Chloe's okay. just starving. Is okay. she hungry? Well, let's get them peanuts out. Just look at these views. Endless panoramas. Denali, Foraker. And then you come up here and you're looking into Hatcher Pass. And that drainage right in the middle of the screen right there, I snow machined up there last year. Justin, Ethan, and I found an old cabin up there. Endless mountains. Sorry that you're missing out. They come. Number 12. Oh, there's 13 coming in the back. Number 10. Well, today we're at the Iditarod, on the Iditarod Trail, and there they go. Woohoo! Number 11. It's a big deal. There's uh, 40 teams this year, and they're going from Willow, Alaska, all the way up to Nome, Alaska. It's a thousand mile journey. It's a huge deal here in Alaska. It's the biggest sporting event in Alaska. It's a really big deal. Alaskans are proud of their Iditarod. Dogs upon dogs and everybody wants to give them a high five and say how proud they are and cheer them on. It's a long way, it's a thousand miles on a dog sled. We've got the news choppers out here making sure everybody's doing their thing. Happy Monday morning to you. It's a good good day to be alive here in Alaska. A little bit brisk, a little bit chilly, but I'm uh, out here snow machining up to a place where my new friend here, uh, Jimmy, lives. He lives way up, uh, I don't know, an hour's drive from us and went way up in the mountains. So we're taking the snow machines up way, way up. He's got some wolves on camera. So he goes up there and sees if he can uh, get any wolves occasionally. So we come up with him and a good friend, John Carpenter, Justin, Ethan, and I. But just what a beautiful area. We just spotted four moose up here. And uh, just take a look at this 360 degree view here. Pretty amazing, just a beautiful area for sure. A little cloudy, a lot of aspens in here. In the summer, this is just, just beautiful. All right, Jimmy, here's some uh, burbot Jimmy caught. We're gonna sample it. Really? Yeah. All right, let's see what you taste like. What do you think, Justin? Oh, good. Ethan? Yeah. We're in Jimmy's garage here. He's frying us up a storm. It's awesome. Burbot taste test. That is delicious. 
Mmm. Mm. Okay. Avocado oil. Fish fry batter. Soaked in milk for like several hours. Mm -hmm. That is good. Mmm. That was all. This is all burger. Mmm. Let's try this pike. So good. Good morning. It's been a while since I showed you our food. Well, there's two people absent. Justin and Ethan sit over there and they're absent. But of course, Chloe's here. Hi, Chloe. Hi. Don't you just love her hair? I love her fluffy little hair. Anyways, Priscilla made such a delicious meal. Go ahead. You can help yourself. We prayed. It's good. Um, pancakes, eggs, and this is bacon. I got to figure out. A friend of ours gave this to us. I think it's from Moose. Looks really good. We'll have to try to figure out how to make it. Well, today is uh, a full day and um, got to go run to town and do a few things and go out. Some people invited us for dinner tonight, uh, out for dinner. So we're going to go do that. And there's swim lessons for the children. We think we have to check the schedule. We're not even sure. And just a bunch of different odds and ends because this weekend, uh, most of us are going to be going up to a lake uh, that's about three hours drive from here and we're going to do some major camping and uh, trying to catch some big fish. So there's a lot of preparation for that. So that's what's going to be happening today. Okay, it's a pretty big day today. We're getting prepared. Justin, Ethan, and I are getting prepared for a major, well, kind of major, um, camping trip. We're gonna go out two nights. We're gonna drive out three hours to a big lake. We're gonna take our wall tents, and we're gonna be myself, Justin, Ethan, Avalon, Wyatt, and then we're gonna be there a day and a night and the following day. Then Priscilla's gonna come with Chloe, and she'll be there for the afternoon of the day, and then Chloe's gonna stay for the night. Um, so it's going to be two wall tents and so we got to take wood along a whole bunch of fishing gear We're going to try to catch some lake trout. Hopefully we can catch some massive lake trout some burbot It's going to be a good time. We're just going to take the family up there I'll take all the kiddos and we're just going to have a good time. So that's what we're doing. We're getting everything ready It's a massive day uh, Getting everything ready for that much work two nights and all the kids and everything so Probably spend most of the day just prepping everything. So we're gonna have to take some firewood along. That's what we're doing right now Look at this, you guys. Priscilla's been in the kitchen all day. <laughs> it's a mess in here, too. <laughs> she has been busy canning and canning, and now you made cinnamon rolls. Yep. Wow. Cinnamon rolls and Tell us what all tacos. you made. Fish tacos. Yes. And what? tell me what you were canning here. Okay, there comes the broth. <laughs> Actually, this is still the chicken in it. I just, oh, I have okay. it outside to cool, and then I'm going to take all the chicken pieces off, the bones. Nice. And make a lot of chicken broth. Now, broth. <laughs> tell us what about those chicken feet that you did today. Uh, I also pressured some chicken feet that someone gave us, and it makes some really amazing bone broth. It's high in collagen, and I am pressuring them right now. Would you like to tell our friends where you got the chicken legs? Yes. Um, Happy Home Alaska. And you can find them on Instagram. Right. And so they were so gracious to give us a bunch of chicken and chicken legs. And so we are so excited. Let's check out the fish tacos. Ooh, Chloe, lift that up. Let's see what we got underneath there. I bet there's some tacos. Nice. Salmon, of course, salmon, slaw, rice and cheese. Salmon you hungry? and rockfish. Oh, salmon and rockfish? Oh yeah, the light colored ones are rockfish. Okay, time to indulge. Take a load of that coffee. Mmm. I'm so sorry you can't enjoy it with me. It's so good. Avalon makes really good coffee. She's so good. I really got the hang of it. Well, this morning we're getting ready, getting packed up. Uh, we're heading up to a lake, like I mentioned yesterday, and wow, it took all day yesterday to get prepared, get everything done. Of course, we're having a normal morning routine. Priscilla's in the kitchen. All the children are helping there. I'm actually soaking my feet here in uh, ice water and hot Epsom salt water just because I was on my feet most of the day yesterday, and ooh, they're really sore this morning, but... Uh, 
yeah, they're still getting better. They're getting better. I'm declaring it all the time. So, yeah, uh, it's going to be just great. I can't wait for this experience. It's going to be awesome. Wish Priscilla could be there, but she's not able to make it this time. So if we have a lot of fun, I could probably talk her into going next time. I'm going to come later. Yeah, she'll be there tomorrow. Actually, she's just going to not be there for the night, which I don't blame her. It gets a little chilly. It's five degrees this morning, but we got a nice wood stove in the tent. It's going to be nice and warm. I just got to get up two or three times during the night probably to stoke the fire. But that's just the way it goes when you're out there. At least we got a fire. It'll be nice and toasty. So we're hoping to catch some big fish, but uh, just getting prepared for the day here. Cinnamon rolls for breakfast. Does it get any better than that? Ooh, delish. I'm having to eat over here so I can get my feet uh, red light therapy and everything, but everybody else is just chowing down. Well, I wanted to show you the project that Justin and Ethan have been working on along with Michael. That's my brother-in-law, Michael, of course, being the lead guy. So they did a little entryway on a shop, and this is the second one that we've done like this. And then we also did some work, built her pavilion as well as replaced her roof. So we've done a fair bit of work for her. But you just wanted these little entryways to kind of block the snow. I think it turned out real nice. But thanks, guys, for watching our channel. We'll see you next week. Lord bless you, and can't wait to see you soon. Wait, 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 Chloe. Wait, wait, wait. That's a big one. What in the world? You got it? Oh, man. It's coming out. Oh! No!